Welcome friends to another lecture on teacher on demand series. This lecture was uh, initiated by a student of mine who asked a very simple question that standards and controls their solutions where we know the original value of the analyte. Then why can't we use standards as controls and why do we need to purchase two different sets of reagents? Now that was a very interesting question and I thought we need to make a video and share it up with all of you. Now to understand the reason as to why we can't use standards and calibrators as controls, we need to understand the basics of colorimetric testing. Now in a colorimetric test, we estimate colors. We do a test and we see that a color is developed. Then we take this uh, solution into a colorimeter and take a reading. The instrument gives us a value which we call it as an optical density. Now what does this optical density mean to us? When you put a, uh, when you put a test tube in an uh, in a colorimeter, you will get readings like 0 0.24, 0 0.36, 0 0.12, 0 0.48. Now these really don't mean anything to me, and they do not help us to understand how to manage the patient. Well, if we apply if we apply Beer's law, we can say that the concentration of the the solution which has the highest optical density has the highest concentration. So we know that this has the highest concentration and this has the lowest concentration. We can also interpret the Beer's law in such a way that the concentration of this will be twice as that. The concentration of this solution will be half the concentration of this and the concentration of this will be three times the concentration of this. Okay, we can get these kind of relations but still we do not know the actual value of the substance. Now, supposing I say that the concentration of a solution which has an optical density of 0 0.24 is 200 milligrams per deciliter. Supposing I say that there is a solution which has an optical density of 0 0.24 and its concentration is 200 milligrams per deciliter. Then I get a lot of information. Straight away I can say that this solution has a concentration of 400 milligrams per deciliter. This one has half the concentration, so this will be <coughs> 100 milligram per deciliter, and this will be 300 milligram per deciliter. Once I know the concentration of a solution for which I know the optical density, I can use that information and then calculate the concentration of all the other solutions. <coughs> now, reporting it in another way. Supposing I use a solution whose concentration I know and test it and find the optical density. Let us say for example that I take a solution of 200 mg per deciliter and do the test and I get an optical density of 0 0.24. Then I know that the optical density for a solution of 200 mg per deciliter is 0 0.24 and using this logic now I can find the concentrations of the other solution. So a solution of which I know the concentration and I use this to analyze the concentrations of the other solutions. This is called a standard or a calibrator. Now what is a standard or a calibrator? A standard or calibrator is a solution whose concentration I know. Then I feed it to the instrument to make the instrument understand what the concentration is for that given, find the OD of the solution for whose concentration I know and then use it to estimate the concentration of all the other solutions. Now how do I make the analy analyzer understand this? When I do a programming for biochemistry in that I have to feed one particular parameter which is the concentration now, of the standard. So there I tell the analyzer that if at all I use a stand solution called a standard, the concentration of that will be this value which I have fed to the analyzer. Then <coughs> when I do the test uh, and I feed the standard, there are a lot of analyzers which ask me to press the button calibrate. After feeding, after feeding, the, sta uh, after feeding the standard, I let the optical density be calculated. And once the optical density is calculated, I press the button called calibrate. At this stage, when I press the button calibrate, the analyzer understands that this OD corresponds to the OD of a standard. What is the concentration of the standard? 
the concentration of the standard is what has been fed in the program thus it creates a link between the optical density and the concentration of the standard in the newer analyzers this button of calibration is not required because the analyzer straight away asks you to feed the standard when you feed the standard it wants it makes this association without us having to press the calibration button now <coughs> once i have fed the standard and press the calibrate button then the analyzer makes an equation i have got an optical density of a particular value and this value corresponds to a concentration of the standard which has already been fed to me it creates a linear relationship so in our case when we use the standard of 0.24 the analyzer understood that the concentration of the solution was 200 mg then when i ran a test of a value of 0.36 then by simple cross multiplication 0.36 into 200 divided by 0.24 will give you the concentration of the test which in this case comes to 300 mg per deciliter now how does the colorimetric test work the optical density of the test into the optical into the concentration of the standard divided by the optical density of the standard t minus b optical density of the test minus optical density of the divided by the optical density of the standard into concentration of standard this is the basic colorimetric test now if you have a look at this we feed the standard only once in a testing so this value of s is a constant the concentration standard has already been fixed so that's also a constant so if you divide these two you get a constant so the concentration of the test will be optical density of the test into a given factor now what is the problem of using standards and calibrators now this is a computerized system where i have fed in the concentration of the standard and when i feed the standard whatever optical density i get will be considered to be of a standard of the concentration which i have fed into the machine now the machine doesn't understand how good or how bad the standard is as long as you feed a standard and press the calibrate it will straight away equate the optical density we've got with the optical with the concentration standard that has been fed into the analyzer if my standard or calibrator is good then these equations are good and the results i get will be correct but if something goes wrong in my standard if my standard has become bad or if the reagents has become bad or the analyzer has become bad something has gone bad but <coughs> and now i feed the standard and press the calibrate whatever error has gone it will still do a mathematical figure get me a factor multiply the factor with the test res or, or test optical density and give me values the analyzer will not tell me that there is an error the analyzer will keep giving me values which may be totally wrong so how do i know whether my calibrator is good or not how do i know whether my system is right or wrong once again i'll explain the problem if i feed a standard and press the button calibrate the instrument will automatically equate that this optical density corresponds to a particular concentration which i have fed in the analyzer if there was a problem in the standard and the standard was bad and the standard's concentration was not equal to what has been fed in the machine the machine will not know that it will straight away equate the optical density to that of the concentration fed in the machine and make a factor and it will multiply the factor to all the test results and give me a value these values may not be correct and i may be giving wrong results if the calibrator is good if the standard is good my results are all right but if the standard is bad it will still give me a result and i will not know whether the result is good or bad now to overcome that i use a control control is also a solution whose concentration i know but the important thing is that the control is not ever being used in the process of calibration i run the sample and i see the value which i get 
if the <coughs> value of the control is as expected that means my system is working fine if the value of the control is not what i expected then there has been some issue with the calibration the results are not good and i need to find out what was the problem now irrespective it doesn't matter what reagent i use it doesn't matter what standard i use it doesn't matter what analyzer i use the value of the control should be the same whether i do it in my lab or whether i do it in somebody else's lab the control should give me the same value now if the control doesn't give me the same value there has been a problem with the calibration of the equipment so if you now understand a control is something like a police we've used standards we've used calibrators we've calibrated our equipment we think our equipment is doing fine but is it really doing fine or not this is being tested by the police if the control value comes all right that means everything done was correct and these results of the patient match up with the patient if the results do not come all right then there is some problem with the calibration and that needs to be rerun so now you'll understand that a calibration and a control cannot be used simultaneously to summarize a calibrator or a or a standard is a solution whose concentration i know i use this value to program my analyzer in such a way that it can calculate a factor and use that factor to multiply it with the optical density of the test and give me the concentration of the solution it does not tell me whether the system is working right or not it is linking the optical density to a concentration now if i want to test if my system is right or not i need to have an other solution whose concentration i know and then use that solution to test whether i get the same expected result or not if i get the same expected result then the system is well calibrated all the results are good if the, i don't get the result there is some problem now if i use a control a calibrator as a control in the step of calibration i have straight away equated the optical density to the concentration so even if the control is bad it will still give me a reading of 200 when i run it as a control sample that will also give me a reading of 200 so if an error has come the control uh, the standard will not able to pick up that error so a control and a calibrator or standard should be different and cannot be used one for the other thank you for watching my video you can feel free to contact me in my email or if you have any issues if you want any clarifications or if you want to request a video feel free to contact me thank you